Well, everybody, welcome back to Genshin Impact. So, yeah, last time we left off here. Okay, wait, we gotta go. Do we have to go? Yeah, I think we have to go to the sketch. Yep. Let's ask them. Come on, kids, we gotta talk. Hi, Oimia. Are the weapons to scare away the great Lugina yokai ready yet? Oh, uh, Mr. Ryunosuke is making them right now. You can go collect them from my house later. Uh, aren't you gonna play with us, Yoimiya? I'm sorry. I have something important to do right now. I'll be back later on. But I'll bring you guys some candy next time. The extra sweet candy, the one you guys love. Yeah, hey, we're gonna get candy! Woohoo! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Candy! What the Whoa hell? So, I wanted to ask you guys something. Uh, did you see a bunch of scary-looking men come by here at all? Yep, we did. It looked like they were chasing someone. Are they trying to catch a monster too? Eh, uh, nope, just a no, person. don't worry. It's all just a big misunderstanding. Be good kids and stay out of trouble, alright? Stay in the city for now, and I'll come play with you after the fireworks start. We will! We'll be on our best behavior, especially for you, Yoimiya. Okay, then. It looks like this is the right way. Yep. Let's keep going. Okay, let's go. If so, I mind, I guess I'll have to step in. Um, Look, there are people from the Tenryo Commission there over we there. Go. It must be them. We have to talk to them now. Where is the guy? <clears throat> Sorry, official business. I can't let you pass. Sakujiro and Keisuke are up ahead, right? We need to talk to them about something. Didn't you hear me? You're not getting past. Ugh, what a nuisance! <sighs> well, you've only got yourself to blame! Now we're gonna fight, aren't we? Yep. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I can actually pay your Mia. Okay, let me... <laughs> See what kind of weapon. Oh, she has a bow. And uh, not what I need right now, but. Let me just still try, I guess. Like, you know, you can always use them just once, so why not use them now? Don't waste my time. There we go. Are you dead? Nice almost, sweet. almost. Cool it. Uh, no, you are. Ah, uh, crap, mouth guy. This moment will be frozen in time. I must withdraw. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna use her because, well, withdraw. she does a lot of damage right now. Here we go. And that. So today, Panning King Tenryon. How dare you commission. the work of the Tenryo Commission? You will be punished for your actions. Never. I will never be punished. There is nowhere you can escape justice. Not even at the edges of the world. Huh. Look at that. The one with the loudest mouth had the fastest feet. We can't waste any more time on these guys. Let's push on. They should be just ahead. Okay. Should be now here then. Found you. Don't hurt him. No. I'm too late. Your skills with the sword have stagnated, Sakujiro. You should have known that you stood no chance against me in a duel. I never imagined I'd fall into your hands. I... If this is to be my fate, I accept it. I have nothing else to say. But your return says that you finally came around to my point of view. Whatever you say. You will return with me to the Tenryo Commission to await your sentencing. The one who made this boat will also be punished. No one Wait. knows about it. Not it even I. It doesn't have to end like 
this. Don't you have anything else to say to one another? Hey, I know you. You're Naganahara's girl, who makes the fireworks. <laughs> I know you like to get involved in other people's business, but stay out of this. It does not concern you. It's okay, Yoimiya. The past is the past. Then why did you risk life and limb to get yourself back into Inazuma? And why were you so reluctant to leave after you got here? I'll tell you why. This is why. This is the chance you've been waiting for. To talk everything through. I have nothing to say to him. He's a criminal. I work for the Tenryo Commission. There is never any room for discussion. Out of respect for the friendship we once had, I gave him a chance to fight for his freedom. But his skills with the sword are as disappointing now as they ever were. What are you talking about? And just who do you think you're kidding? You left all your subordinates back there to guard the road, making sure no one else followed you here. Seems to me like you were hoping for a chance to talk. I can see it in your faces. You both have so much to say. And you're just gonna choose to keep it all inside? Tuh. Don't flatter yourself. What would you know? Yoimiya, leave it. It was just my wishful thinking. No, I won't leave it! I will not stand by and watch when you haven't even done anything! Keisuke, you seem to like settling things with a duel, so let's do it your way. I We're challenge gonna fight. you to a duel. If I win, then you need to say everything that's in your heart. No more running from your feelings. And the same goes for you, Sakujiro. If I win, you will tell Keisuke exactly why you came back, no matter what the consequences are. You have to tell him everything. If you don't say anything now, you may never have another chance. And if you lose? I die. Then I'll admit to collaborating with Sakujiro. And accept the Tenryo Commission's punishment. Yoimiya. Am I gonna I fight accept. or is she? Let's settle this with a duel. <laughs> Sir, we're here to battle. I knew it. I already knew it. Duels are supposed to be one on one! Alright, that's it! Let's help Yoimiya! We can't let her fight the Google. Go. Come on, this ain't fair. Freeze! Now we go frozen. Your life is mine. Following thunder. Lightning flash. Okay, he's almost dead. Withdraw. But how much health do you have? Oh no, he's not dead. Dodge this. Okay, his friends are bought, not him. Oh, so sorry. Come on. Vaporize, vaporize, come on. Okay, here we go. Lightning flash! Draw. Give up. I'm the right pick. Okay, that's it. Hit. Yep, yep, that's it. Okay. Sir, now they talk. Are too strong. We need more men. Talk now. Stand down. W what? I thought I told you to stay away. Now stand down. Y yes, sir. Sorry. Uh, Yoshitaka leaves in that Young lady, you are just as obstinate as Sakujiro was back then. Why were you so convinced that we had things to say to each other? Because Sakujiro may not have told me about you when he came back, but he did order a firework from me. Then your parents told me about what happened between you when you were younger. Once I'd heard the story, I realized that the firework meant something special to you both. And that's why I simply refuse to believe that you have nothing to say to each other. Nobody sets off a firework to feel lonely, do they? Hmm. The reason I came back is that... Mm -hmm. <sighs> I, f 
felt lost. It wasn't that I'd changed my mind, I just felt that what I'd done in the past was to try to escape from reality. I saw the freedom of Mondstadt, the contracts of Liyue, the wisdom of Sumeru, and the justice of Fontaine. It all left a deep impression on me. I was glad that I'd left Inazuma, but then I happened to hear about the Sokoku Decree. I was an escapee, and I was proud of that. What I should have tried to do is take the good things from the outside world and bring them back home. So that's why you came back? Out of your naive hope of changing the way things are here? No, I let go of all those delusions of grandeur. I just felt that... I never should have run away like that. <sighs> After all, you never ran away. Huh? I don't know about you, but life hasn't been easy for me. But you I just had to come back and visit. It was like fate was out, calling you know. me, and I couldn't ignore it any longer. But life uh, isn't easy I don't know. for anyone. I truly worship the Raiden Shogun. Her ideas were my personal creed, and I desired nothing more than to see her will done. But now, my role is to punish violators of this Hakoku decree and confiscate people's visions. It's not what I signed up for when I joined the Tenryo Commission. I do wonder, am I really doing the right thing? The boat is yours. Nice. Huh? I could have made you stay in Inazuma, but that doesn't mean I want to keep you here by force. Uh, what will you say to the higher-ups? Don't worry about that. I'll handle it. If you want to come back, I hear the process of returning to Inazuma from the outside world is long and complicated, but it can be done. I will lend you my help, but until then, you'll have to wait. And don't kick the bucket on the way out. Don't worry, Keisuke. I won't. Any chance we can watch the fireworks together? Hmm. Maybe next time. I bought the part in Insoquitable Silence. I'll be demoted for sure. It's not like me to give in to childish sentiment like this. I can't explain why I went through with it. That boat. It's the one that Sakujiro planned on using for his escape. I asked Yoshitaka and the others to transport it here, citing the temporary contraband storage clause. Forcing Sakujiro to this spot was also something I had planned all along. It's just like you said, Yoimiya. Even though I hadn't fully made up my mind, my actions betrayed my intent. But I think you did the right thing. And look, now you've managed to resolve the grievance in your heart by talking about it. I understand now. Thank you. I didn't know you were quite so perceptive. You saw right into what I was thinking. <laughs> That's only because I know your parents so well. They're both really nice people, so I didn't think the apple would fall too far from the tree. I had heard there was a new Naganohara running things these days. A little loud and reckless, maybe, but <laughs> you live up to the family name. By the way, Naganohara fireworks can reproduce the firework that the two of us set off back then, right? Would you be able to make one for me? Sorry, no can do. Without the slipper reference, I can't make the same one again. And I'm afraid Sakajiro is the one with the slip. Ah, I see. Never mind then. <laughs> Don't get too down just yet, though. I mentioned that Sakujiro ordered a firework from me, didn't I? I can't make another one, but I'm guessing Sakajiro probably won't be needing his anymore. It'd be a shame for it to go to waste, so I'll make an exception and let you set it off instead. Thank you very much. No worries. And don't miss out on the start of the fireworks show. Yoimiya! The way you took command of that whole situation was amazing! What can I say? I like to talk. I'm a strong believer in the power of words. If you're not willing to communicate, then the problem just sits there. If you just keep staring at it without doing anything, eventually you'll watch every last opportunity to resolve it slip away before your eyes. 
Sakujiro and Keisuke can't turn back the clock in their relationship, but that's no reason to live with remorse. Anyway, follow me. I'll bring you to the perfect place to watch the fireworks. Yes, what My pops will set off the firework that I wanted to give to you. Let me wait. All right, and let me see the fireworks. Okay, gotta go up there. Yeah, I have to go up there and then. Okay, wait. Okay, you guys are still here. Don't want to know why, but. I will just accept it, I guess. Ah, there's still this thing. Is it useful for other things or just this? Wolf thinks what it was, Fox. But never mind. Um, no, okay, there we go. We have a guy swimming away. Huh? Ah, that's some nice firework. It was pretty. Oh, uh, Very pretty. that big one that went up first? The gold one? That's the one I had Pops make for you. Oh, Paimon saw it! It was one of the best ones! They won't forget that anytime soon! <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear! I was hoping it would leave a deep impression on you guys. No matter where your journey takes you, and no matter what hardships might lie ahead, I hope you'll always be able to look back fondly on the fireworks you saw tonight. I believe that as time goes by, this firework will only grow brighter and more beautiful in your heart. Oh, and also, you're technically my customers now. Here, this is your paper slip. If Thank you, you for the firework. Idea, you seem to turn into a completely different person during the fireworks. You were so quiet, and it was like you couldn't hear anything at all. Oh, I can hear you. I just have a habit of being silent while I'm watching fireworks. Quietly okay. watching something you made with your own hands rise into the sky feels like a sacred ceremony to me. You asked me what fireworks mean to me, right? Yep. Well, for Koichi, who built the boat for us, and his friend, Third Sis, fireworks commemorate friendship. For Keisuke's parents, they commemorate marriage. And for Keisuke and Sakajiro, they were commemorating... Hmm. Uh, crap, I can unwavering beliefs, oh, right? Yeah. For me, uh... <laughs> to be honest, uh, even though I've thought about it countless times before, I still haven't found an answer. Seriously? Huh. Hyman was expecting something deep and philosophical. Well, no one's ever asked me this before, so I've never really settled on an answer. It was by chance that I happened to be born into the Naganohara family, so it was by chance that I ended up learning this craft from my pops. 
It's also by chance that I've met so many people, learned so many things, and discovered that people associate watching fireworks with the things that are most precious to them. Fireworks that disappear in a flash of light are probably the furthest thing away from the eternity that our Shogun desires. But people's feelings don't just disappear, and it's those feelings that give fireworks their purpose. If nobody wanted to watch fireworks, then they wouldn't exist. That's another kind also, of eternity. Also, consider this. You have to have the Naganoharas because so many people are emotionally invested in the existence of fireworks. If we didn't exist, their wishes would go unfulfilled, wouldn't they? You know, I don't really think about complicated things like this very often. But I'm proud that I was born into the Naganohara family and have the chance to make so many pretty fireworks. So what now? Completed? Yep. <sighs> oh, the new act started, I guess. Now I can do this quest. Master Jean. I have to go back to Monster, don't I? I don't know what I want for Monster now actually, because I was not here for so long time. For such a long time actually. So this is gonna be interesting. Um Jean. Master Jean. Okay, come on Jean, come on. What do you want to talk? What More the hell? Are you ready to head over? Open door. We need to talk. <sighs> Thank you for coming on such short notice, honorary knight. I know you must be busy. Well, to make a long story short, there's a particular matter at hand that the knights requires your assistance with. That is, the knights are busy <sighs> as yes. ever. It has been one thing after another recently. Oh, Neither myself nor any of the Mondstadt garrison are able to catch a moment of peace. I have recently received multiple reports from the Knights of someone within the Lawrence clan having close dealings with the Fatui. The Fatui? Again? Haven't but who are the Lawrence Shut up, I haven't heard from them so long. There was a dark period in Mondstadt's history when the aristocracy ruled over the city. The hard-won freedom that followed with the fall of Decarabian was lost once again as slavery spread throughout the land. The first Dandelion Knight, Vanessa, spearheaded the revolution that overthrew the old aristocratic system and established the Knights of Favonius, leading Mondstadt to become the city that you see today. The aristocrats that had oppressed the people of Mondstadt were none other than the Lawrence clan. Oh, Paimon gets it! So the clan's descendants are now scheming with the bad guys to carry out more dubious deeds! We suspect as much, though we have yet to obtain any solid evidence. The reason I summoned you here today is to ask you to help us further investigate this matter. Uh, but why else? <sighs> Unfortunately, the Knights of Favonius and the aristocracy have been at odds with one another for as long as I can remember. We've already considered every possible way of resolving our differences, but it seems the descendants of the aristocracy remain antagonistic towards the Knights. No matter what stance we take when dealing with them, the outcome is always the same. Our efforts only result in adding more fuel to the flames. We could come knocking on their door on the grounds of a search warrant, but if the investigation were to come up empty, I'm afraid tensions and distrust would only increase. All of our past efforts would have been wasted. But as the ordinary knight, I te technically also belong to the knights. You are in fact the best candidate to represent the Knights of Favonius. Yep. But you need not emphasize your role as the honorary knight. 
You are a traveler from a distant land, and you can and approach so the aristocrats in this way. Once you come to friendly terms with the Lawrence clan, you should be in a good position to learn more of their possible connections with the Fatui. Oh, leave it to Master Jean to come up with such a thorough plan. <laughs> Perhaps such plans have become second nature after all the diplomatic issues I've dealt with. The name of the Lawrence clan member in question is Schubert. Lately, he can often be found strolling near the northern city walls. It is said that he is difficult to get along with due to his temperamental disposition, but if we approach him calmly, then things should go off without a hitch. Okay. Leave it to me. Thanks again for your help. If you run into any snags along the way, I'll do anything in my power to support you. Oh, crap. The quest started. Open the door, we gotta leave. Look for this former aristocrat. Okay. Let's go then. Okay, where is it? Come on, map. That's okay. It's it's still a monster, I guess. Talk to the person by the city wall. Well, hello there. I thought there was someone inside, but I guess someone is here. Talk to me. Who are you? Just your friendly knight, I guess. Hello, we're here too. Hello. Hello. Did I hear you correctly? Hello. Huh. And I suppose you think that you can simply strut up here and greet me in such an ignoble and vulgar manner? Given that I don't recognize you, I can only assume that you are a traveler of some variety. I'll have you know that you are speaking with THE Schubert Lawrence, a blood descendant of THE magnanimous nobility. If you wish to address me, you'd best consider your words more carefully. Such nonchalant manners are inadmissible and will never do. Now, if you're somehow capable of understanding anything I've said, then you will get down on your knees, apologize for your negligent actions, and give me a proper introduction. That is the appropriate okay, etiquette. Okay, this just got... That's etiquette? Hyman's never heard of something so complicated before. Huh. In former times, when people knew their place and respected traditions, such conduct was only basic courtesy when greeting a nobleman. And neglecting your manners would result in a swift whipping. Ugh. But look at the world now. Rules have been thrown to the wayside and manners forgotten. Ugh. I cannot bear to see such degradation. Sounds like too much has what to me. What did you say? You dare question the dignity of the nobility? I'll have you know that though myself and others of noble blood are looking for a chance to restore our rightful honor. Just look around. The people are unruly and undisciplined. I, however, strive to retain the elegance and etiquette of the nobility. After all, we are of a completely different breed by birth. I haven't even Say said anything yet. I find your manners and bearing repulsive. I have nothing to discuss with the likes of you. Besides, I am in no way obligated to instruct commoners on basic courtesies. Now I have more pressing matters to attend to. I'll take my leave. Ugh, so this is what Master G meant by difficult to get along with. All right. Let's back, back to Master Jean, so yep. No, oh, let's teleport.
Uh, gonna be much faster. Now I'm just gonna go back and forth, go back and forth like that. No, well, Ember. I'm just on my way out to gather some intel. I didn't expect to run into you here. Neither huh? did I. Judging by your expression, you must have run into some trouble. Master D kind tasked of. us with a special assignment, but things seem to have run aground for the moment. It's a long story. You don't need to get down on yourself. Sometimes things just don't turn out as planned. Even I can't guarantee useful intel every time I'm dispatched. You just have to keep at it and never give up. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> hey, why don't you let me try to help? What's the problem? Master Jean asked us to build a connection with someone named Schubert Lawrence. And that's my But it turns out that quest he's to do a it's a not you. You're a character that doesn't listen to anyone, especially Paimon. Aha, Schubert. I know him. Let me guess. He said you didn't have any manners. So you heard. <laughs> I've been on the receiving end of his lectures many a time. The Lawrence clan can be very particular about such things. Uh, you mean everyone in the Lawrence clan is just a big headache? As aristocrats, they believe there should be a certain distance between themselves and common folk. Uh, I understand their thinking, but that's just not how things are anymore. However, there is one exception among the Lawrence clan, my good buddy, Eula. Uh, buddy? That's right. Not only is she from the Lawrence clan, but she's also captain of the Knights of Pavonia's fourth company. And Jean told us that the Lawrence clan sees the Knights as enemies. Eula is special. She's not quite like the other members of her clan. She has her own beliefs and it shows. In other words, she doesn't really adhere to the strict rules and conventions oh, of her family. However, she's still quite knowledgeable about dealing with the Lawrences. I'm sure you'll see what I mean if you meet her. Hmm, that's strange. If you is a member of the Lawrence clan, then why would Master Jean choose us for the task? Couldn't she just ask Eula? Uh, well, it's a little complicated. Basically, the Lawrence clan has frowned upon the fact that Eula joined the Knights. Her family members don't particularly care for her. In their eyes, Eula is nothing but a traitor to the family. She sounds like the quite She's very easy quite to get character. along with. Just explain the situation, and I'm sure she'll help you come up with a way to get along with Schubert. In fact, I think she's out in the wilderness on patrol this morning. You should be able to find her around Storm Baron Mountains. Thanks, Amber. All right, you heard her. Let's go find Eula. All right, you two. You oh, have to do that, then I have, have to do that. Clay. In the forest. Okay. You're not too far from the portal, so that's good. Well, if you want to learn about the conduct of the Lord's okay. clan, who better to ask than one of their own family members? Okay, something is happening here. Oh, are they a part of the quest? The Fatui? Yep. What are they doing here? Is that why Yulu was sent off a troll? They are a part of the Let's quest. Fight first and talk later. There we go. I see through you. Give up. Here. You can't run. Well, dodge this. Nice and spicy. Okay, come on. I must collect time. Be a kill, Joy. Here. Yeah. Only just begun. Don't waste my time. Must counter attack. Cool it. This moment will be frozen in time. This was well done. Lightning flash. Huh. Okay, that's and this the last guy. You need a hurry up. Free. Ah, uh, this the guy with the shears as always. Well done. Take this. 
This one's well done. Following thunder. You Mon need to hurry up. This. Don't Go waste my time. Yeah. This is well done. There we go. Free. You need to hurry up. Boba, get the Not Rusty over there, Boba. Right. Over here. There we go. This is uh, well done. Yep. Lightning flash. I hate this shit thingy. Yep. I'm low on health. <coughs> yep. Uh, his shield thingy is like annoying. No. Yeah, okay, finally. Oh, fuck me. Okay, he's easier to kill. So that's good. I will end you. Nice and spicy. It's nothing. Okay. Freeze. Thunderclap. Come on. This finally. You are finally dead. <clears throat> oh no no. Name Master G. Okay, take it back. That's someone else. Okay, who are you? You now? don't think twice before reaching for your sword, do you? <laughs> do you have any idea how long I've been tracking these targets? And now you get to stake a claim. <laughs> you think you're stronger because you got to them first? <laughs> Mark my words, vengeance will be mine. Uh what? I'm sorry, vengeance. That's right. I heard the commotion and came as swiftly as I could, only to find you two already fighting the Fatui. Not only that, you are making quick work of them too. If I didn't make my move, you would have been able to take all the credit. Still, That's I'm glad good. you're unscathed. <coughs> Confronting that number of Fatui at once... I know my uh, way around the fight. Sorry, Pylon doesn't understand what you mean, but thanks for your concern. Concern? Why would I be concerned for the safety of my arch enemies? Arch enemies? Wait a minute! You were saying how glad you were that we were unscathed a second ago! By which I meant, if you were injured, I'd have to escort two strangers guilty of stealing my targets all the way back to Mondstadt. Which would mean you'd cause me even more trouble. My vengeance would be swifter still. Huh? So that's how you see all this? Mm, so it must be yes, you, though. Yes, that's me. Hyman thinks she's pretty strange. Although at least we can communicate with her. You dare to call someone you've just met strange? Forget the aristocracy. That's rude even by normal standards. Speaking of which, how do you know my name? This we is know. the honorary knight of the Knights of Favonius. And speaking of rude... We're trying to investigate an aristocrat named Schubert Morris. He's so obsessed with etiquette that he's not even willing to speak with us. <laughs> I understand now. That's my uncle, all right. Ah, yes. But why do you mean to investigate him? Uh, reasons, I guess. Reasons. He may be secretly involved with the Fatui. <laughs> You have some nerve to faming a family member right in front of me. I will have vengeance for this too. No, no, no! This is an assignment from Master Jean! It's just an investigation, that's all! Aren't she curious about you? To the everyday citizens of Mondstadt, everyone in the Lawrence clan is scum. It's natural for rumors and unwarranted gossip to lead to such suspicion. Hard to avoid such a reputation when you're known as the ruthless rulers of old Mondstadt. Oh, so that's what you think of me? Hm. 
Yet another transgression to avenge. But... didn't you say it first? Oh... <laughs> Curious. We've only just met, and you've already given me three causes for vengeance. It's been a while since I've encountered yeah, anyone do you seem as so happy as about you. it? I assume you need me to teach you the conduct of the Lawrence clan. Only then will you finally be able to communicate with my uncle, correct? That's right. Amber told us to come and talk to you. Well then, let's begin your training immediately. It'll be easier to train when we're back in Mondstadt. We'll require other people. Mm, but aren't you plotting vengeance we can against put that us? Aside for now. Besides, if it's the acting grandmaster's assignment, and Amber's the one who recommended me, I should comply. Uh, Hyman's confused. This girl's all vengeance this and revenge that. But she I doesn't go to the seem to be the cathedral. Still, Hyman has met bigger weirdos before. Um, okay, gotta go here. So back to Mondstadt, I guess. We are going back to Mondstadt. Oh, you know what, actually, I'm just gonna end the video here also. Because, why not? Uh, so, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of, you know, Genshin Impact and, yeah. As always, hope you guys enjoyed and see ya next cup. Wait. Okay, so yeah. And see you next time.